Hi you guys, welcome back to Tay Mystical Mermaid Light. This is a light code activation pick a card reading. So we will be focusing on sound frequencies. We will be picking um, some cards and yeah. So I would highly suggest for you guys to get somewhere comfortable, somewhere quiet, somewhere relaxing so you can just kind of breathe and chill, okay? Get some coffee or some tea or hot cocoa. But I, it's gonna be very um, short, the sound ball um, segment. So no worries there, we're gonna get into the readings. Also wanted to mention that I was going to um, have cards that were pre-picked, like pre-selected, pulled already. And I felt intuitively guided to just wipe that and put all the cards back up. So we're gonna just shuffle, we're gonna do a live shuffle basically, okay? So let's get started. We're only gonna be working with the root chakra um, bow because I just felt kind of called to just work with the root chakra. We I feel like during the holidays, you can watch this anytime by the way, this is a timeless reading, but I'm filming it during the holidays. And during the holidays, sometimes people get a little like anxious and worked up. People are dealing with grief and sadness and seasons are changing. People are, are dealing with seasonal depression. So just a lot going on. And I sometimes um, think that would be beneficial if we just all slowed down, okay? And honestly, it seems like around this time, they're really pushing the year to go by. You know, right after Halloween, they go right into Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, goes right into Christmas. And then they're, then they're like, oh yeah, New Year sale. It's always like, sale, 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 go buy this and all of this crap going on, you know? So let's just slow down and breathe, okay? So right now, I want you to think about everything that is troubling you. I want you to think about everything that's worrying you. I want you to take some time to pray, okay? So I want you to call on whomever you believe in. For me, I believe in God. I believe in Source. I believe God is Source. Um, I believe in the Holy Spirit. And I do believe in Jesus Christ. So for me, I'm going to pray to God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, okay? And I'm going to include the archangels, my guardian angels, and my ancestors that are for my highest good. I would ask you to do whatever prayer you feel called to do intuitively. And I want you to give all your worries, every single concern, every frustration, every fear, things that are angering you, things that are weighing you down, every single thing that you just want released. I want you to mention it. I want you to surrender it, give it over to God, the divine right here and right now. And if you feel called to, you can also pause this video, write everything down and burn it burn it and pray just release say i surrender i release i let go and breathe okay so i want you guys to take some deep breaths so we're gonna breathe from our stomach we're gonna let our stomach expand and slowly okay and then we're going to release that breath slowly as well and then we're going to repeat just over and over do it as many times as necessary i'm only going to do it a couple of times just because i know that i'm running out of time here Okay, so let's start. Let's breathe. Right? Okay, let's start again. Shake it off. Let's start again. Keep going. I'm going to play the ball.
Alright guys. So let's get into your options. Option one, let's get a card for option one. Your card is interconnection, option one. Interconnection. Okay, let's get a card for option two, Holy Spirit. One card, please, for option two. Two cards came out for you guys. Holy Spirit, use me as divine channel for the most pure, holy love and light only. May only the clearest, most pure, holy love and light come through. Messages. One card for the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Option two is moon. Kind of matches my nails. Moon. Holy Spirit. Option three. One card for option three, please. Mm. Mm. Wholehearted bridge. That's a unique card. That's option three. I like that one. Okay, I like them all. All right, so. Option one is interconnection. Ooh, I'm getting all jittery. <laughs> option two is the moon. Option three is wholehearted bridge. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys them together. Uh -oh. Option one, starting on your, wait, wait, wait. What? You guys, that's so crazy. I just heard your freedom. Okay, whoever, whoever needs to hear that, let's wait until we get into the reading, angels. I'm already feeling a lot of energy right now. Maybe I was supposed to do a collective reading. Okay, you guys, this is going to be strange, but I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to do a collective reading real quick. I know, bear with me, bear with me. It's going to be really short. Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to know right now? Transformation. Okay, so the collective is going through a transformation. Look at that. Look at the world. Yep, this is collective energy. See how the light is expanding from the world? So a lot is changing in the world right now. That breaks down to a 10. So the world is going through a completion. If you're watching it, watching it when I'm when I'm recording it, I was gonna say if you're watching it when I'm watching it. If you're watching it after I record this, then we will be ending a year. Divine animals. So a lot of you could be receiving messages and symbols from animal guides or animal totem spirits also needing to spend time in nature to see what um what animals may come up to you it could be symbolic so we're completing a cycle here oh the way they interrupted me and had me do a collective reading that's so strange angelic ones divine healing is upon you divine grace and divine guidance and we had divine animals with, with a four. So 22, breaking down up to a four. So we have stability. And, and, and oh, nine. So, okay, this is beautiful. Nine, 10, we're, we're definitely moving into ending a chapter. All right, so angelic ones. Divine healing is upon you. Divine grace and divine guidance. So we're all being divinely guided right now. The angels and animal guides are all here. Look at the light. Isn't that gorgeous? We're about to enter some new energy. So a lot of people are going to be divinely guided to do a lot of things or change a lot of things. There's going to be a lot of changes happening. Right to choose, immunity to hooks, serenity, being yourself, light codes, being yourself. What's at the top? Angelic ones. Well, I just put that there. Let me see what's at the top underneath this. 
Sacred Mountain, Vision Quest, Clarity and Truth, Shambhala, Deep Healing, Deep Healing. We're leveling up, we're changing, we're transforming. Some things are going to need to be let go of in order to move forward. You guys, what is that animal that, um, are those goats? I'm seeing a vision of like, um, are they like billy goats or something? I'm seeing a, a vision of an animal that has a, you know those rams, those ram? Maybe it's a ram. Okay. I'm seeing an animal, but someone, it has baggage on it. Like it has bags on it and it's going up a mountain, like in those old movies or old folk stories where it's like going up a, a uphill battle, like it's going uphill and it's this animal holding like bags. So it's like it's companion. Someone's using this animal to help it go up a mountain. Where is that from? Is that from some, some type of um, culture? Is that in the history? I'm getting an actual vision of that. I think this is represent, representing the journey, vision quest. Sometimes it seems like a battle, like it feels like there's a lot of opposition but it's lessons being learned. Seven, spirituality. It's lessons being learned. Growth. Lemurian egg rest, re mm. integration of divine potentials. So a lot of you guys are needing to rest. Uphill battle, it's like something that's, show me like rock climbers too. It's something that's tiring. They're saying the long journey is going to be over. So don't worry. It's coming to an end. This is collective. So the things that we've been working on releasing and letting, letting go of these lessons that seem, seem to be um, a little tiring and tough are about to end. But they're, they're saying that it's happened for reasons for you to learn different things about yourself, to learn this is what life is about. But you have angelic help and you have animal help, like animal guidance. I know people are like, what the hell? Animal guidance? It's true though. It's true. God, source, the divine spirit will use any living being to connect, to give a message to you, to teach you something. And I'm really getting that for the new year or whenever you're watching this, you're going to be working with animal medicine, like animal spirits, animal guides, um, animal totems and angels. Okay. It could even be that some past on loved ones will be re like sending you messages via animals. Pay attention to nature. You know, just pay attention. They're saying be aware. Be present is what they're saying. Be present. Let me get one more card for the collective and then we're going to start our pick a card reading. Horus. Soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. And that's basically what you were doing with that mountain, right? You're fulfilling soul contracts that you signed up here. You signed up to go through the different karma and karma is neutral. So different lessons that we've had to learn, whether you deem it good or bad, it's, it's had to happen to progress you, to move you forward, okay? To accelerate you, to accelerate your ascension. You guys will be working with crystals too. Smoky quartz will be very helpful. Smoky quartz, Lemurian quartz, clear quartz, black tourmaline, black onyx, amethyst, rapazuli. Remembering why you were brought here in the first place. You can't shorten your journey. You shouldn't. Okay, just fill it, heal it, and move forward. I know that sounds so like, oh, that's it. But it's not. It's easier said than done. Sword of light, divine protection. There's a lot of divine, divine guidance, divine help, divine protection, divine animals, divine angels, angelic ones, divine, divine, your divinity. Divine protection cords cut. So you guys are, once again, releasing these patterns, going through these lessons and cutting them away. This uphill battle, it's end. I'm, I'm hearing it's come to an end. Yeah, it's ended. It's it's over. You made it to the top. Okay, now what? Cut those bags free off of that goat or whatever animal you have these bags on and move forward. 
those bags are representation of all the weight that you're carrying break through the energy yeah some of you guys are being called to work with archangel michael to make this up it says ancestral realm it's like a portal karmic release healing the lineage boundaries so you're forgiving and healing things patterns to do with family right generational curses guys are moving out of it so once again that nine to ten that progress is this completion the final close of a book right so that a new book can be opened that's what the collective is going through so it's a lot of healing it's a lot of releasing and a lot of restoring okay let's move into the pick a card reading once again option one is interconnection option two is moon and option three is wholehearted bridge Yeah, so you guys are really needing to like move your body around, like release tension. It's crazy because I was cold a few minutes ago and now I'm hot. It's the energy that's changing. It's the energy. The energy is really shifting, you guys, really shifting. Let's clear it. Let's clear the energy. Let's get started. Option one. Option one. I feel the call to go through this one more time. One more time. That's what I just heard. What is this song? Is it one more time, Daft Bunt? Daft Punk? Why did I say Daft, Daft Bunt? <laughs> okay. Okay, so you see how quickly that energy sh shook? Okay. Shook? Changed? All right, let's bring in love. Let's bring in peace. I want you guys to just shake it off. Breathe. There's a um, there's a deck that has vision quest, inner journey, in tune, tapped in, tuning forks. That's for somebody. Strange. I'm hearing reggae music. Child development. I don't know what that is representing for someone. I just heard blue wisdom, indigo, third eye chakra. channel to tap in mm. they said accidents happen for a reason mistakes happen for a reason so is it really a mistake if it was meant to occur so for you it may seem like a mistake but truly it was something that needed to, to occur so that you can learn from it They're saying something about golden abundance. It's interesting because in your card, I don't know what type of flowers these are, but you guys might feel called to work with flowers, like orchids, especially purple ones or um, violet ones. Oh my God. You guys look at the pattern of this cheetah, right? In the coloring and look at the flower, right? Do you see the gold that's coming from there? There's like little speckles, little sprinkles of something um, falling from the flowers, right? That's making me think of, um, I don't know why, but they're showing me the Doreen Virtues Angel Answers deck. And I believe that card is opportunity, opportunity, yeah. Where the gold is kind of like gold coins are just falling around. And this is what they're showing me, it's the same. But one of the reasons why I said, oh my God, is because I have a orchid flower. I have a couple of orchids in my house right now because I work with them spiritually. I love them. Um, I work with their energy a lot. But I have a specific orchid flower that's quite unique. And I'm going to get up real quick just to show you guys, okay?
I don't know if you guys can see her well. She's really big. Um, <laughs> see? Let me see, I can lean her, tilt her a little bit. Now, do you see how unique she is? Right, now look. Do you see the coloring? She's making me think, yeah, I kind of gave her a gender. Anyways, um, <laughs> she makes me think of this flower. So for some reason, I feel the need to kind of maybe, I know this is gonna seem so strange, but just bear with me. Take some time just to breathe and meditate on this flower, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of lean it over. This is so weird. I can't believe I'm doing this, strange. Um, meditate on this flower just for a second, okay? I know that was strange, but I feel like you guys somehow needed, needed that flower and it's so tall that I can't really sit it on anything and you're not gonna see it. But the speckles, once again, they're telling me this flower is connected to this, this interconnection. Maybe like how all the flowers are connected onto one stem, right? I don't know you guys, but um, like I said, she's a big girl and you're not gonna see her. But um, yeah, apparently they wanted you to see her just for a second to connect with that. So I hope I didn't, you know, throw you guys off with that. But I feel that that was meant to be seen. So let's get back into your reading. Maybe I need to stare at her. Hold on and see if I can get some energy. Plant medicine is like so important. Maybe that's a sign within itself, plant medicine. Maybe you guys need to work with plant medicine and animals. Yeah, because she's speckled and she has like these little polka dots. And I'm going to be real with you and there's like no shade because I um, I had a family member that um, had, had this condition. Um, I'm getting like a vertiligo. What is it? Is it vertiligo? I don't, you know what Michael Jackson had? The skin discoloring? I don't know. That's so strange. It's giving me like the spots, the patterns on the panther or the cheetah, I mean, cheetah or the leopard, right? It's giving me these spots. It's crazy how you have the flower and you have the anim the um, the leopard or cheetah and then you have the flower that looks like a, a mixture of that. So you guys might feel called to work with orchids and if you see an orchid that looks like that, bring it into your space and stare at it. Like bring it into your space where you meditate. They oh, interconnection, duh. Okay, so interconnection, the animal itself with the spots, right? the patterns and then the flower that's kind of like sprinkling its pollen or whatever the heck it is it's you know this this energy on to these two animals that are connecting as the flowers are connecting everything's connecting into one here right and check out how the flower has the same pattern so it's like and this is gonna sound really weird but it's like the flowers the flowers and the leopards or cheetahs came together and created this leopard flower <laughs> it's strange interconnection there's a connection within all things right and not only that but they're showing me something i guess that's why they mentioned oh there's an egg here it's fertility merging into one right it's like you know how i mentioned like ver is it fertile like i can't remember the the what it's called but if you think about it, a lot of times people who have that conditions, like their complexions, like one part is extremely, um, it lacks pigment, right? You know, it's like really pale and the other part, depending on what, what nationality they are, it could be, you know, darker, you know, or browner, you know? Um, or think of like a big birthmark, you know? So that could be symbolic for someone, but I, I think it's, um, think of someone who's biracial. I know it's so strange, but it's like, say their father is, black right or african say their father's african um from somalia right and say the mother is caucasian from ireland and this is just an example and they come together and they have this child that's a fusion of both you know cultures the dna is coming together so this is about to get a little tmi but it's like 
when the sperm chases the egg, right? And the two merge, they come together and it creates this, it's, it's kind of amazing how it can create this human, right? This form that's a mixture of this person's DNA and this person's DNA and it comes together. So it's the interconnection. It's the hands coming together. You know how parents, when, when their children, you know, catch them, they're like, oh, mom and dad, we were just hug, we're, we're just hugging. It's a special hug, <laughs> right? It's like the interconnection. It doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't have to mean pregnancy, although it could. It's just representing two forces coming together to create a third energy. Two forces coming together mainly, okay? That's your energy, but it could possibly create this third energy that's representing both sides. So they're showing me the yin and yang symbol, you know? It's almost like when you're mixing colors. So it's like when you mix black and white, you kind of get this grayish, you know, kind of tone. It's strange. It's like two colors that can make one color. And how there are similar patterns and details in, in our fingerprints and in other things like nature, right? What is that called? I always forget, but it's like the details in flowers it could be the same detail in something else. I don't, it's strange. That's what we're getting here. So once again, interconnected, interconnection, okay? <laughs> Let's see what this means for you. <laughs> That was a lot. Interconnection, Holy Spirit. What does option one need to know about this? I want to stare at your card and I want to stare at this flower a little bit. It's so beautiful. Um, you guys, yeah, there's a lot of plant medicine here. You, I hope you guys saw that. Breathing, ground, root chakra. Feel sensations, purity, clarity, expression. breathing so you guys need to breathe deep it's at the bottom resolution another interconnected visual you'll see old timelines collapsing insights higher self -embody embodiment expression resolution and look at those two whales merging right so not like the triangle right think about it two points two points coming together and one. So there's something with the energy of two creating one. So it's, it's, I know it's strange, but it's like, yeah, it's, it's definitely like a triangle if you think about it. Look. Two energies, two forces coming together to create this egg. It's masculine and feminine energy shadow and light it can be many things for you guys let's see what else we can get here whoa they just told me go into tarot so let's get into your tarot hmm. yeah definitely with the breathing Ten of Cups, family. Two beings coming together to create something. Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Look how they're kind of leaning on this. Um, I don't know what that would be called, but they're leaning on, say, like a a vase that has water in it. <laughs> yeah, and it's just overpouring. Something's overpouring in between them. Once again, this is giving me the interconnection energy. Look at those two. It could be possible that your soul is letting you know. 3131, 31, look up those numbers, you guys. 66, six represents harmony. 12, three. <laughs> Breaks comes right back down to three, right? So, yeah. This is deep, you guys. So, yeah, for some of you, it could be that your soul is calling on another soul. And it could be that you're about to come into union quite soon with someone quite important. 
<laughs> important. That's how I heard it. To create something. It doesn't have to be a child. It could be a relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be a project. It could be an idea. It could be something that helps the world. Clean a disc. It could be money. It could be any type of thing that could bring you some type of success physically. The Merkaba is here. We have the rabbit here, fertility, you have the egg. February and March could be symbolic for you guys. Material possessions. This is like the mother too. Queen of Pentacles is like the mother. You're nurturing something. You're nurturing some type of egg. You know they call it like a nest egg? Look at the animals. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry my hand is shaking so badly. It's the darn coffee. <laughs> it's darn coffee. Yeah, so you guys are creating something. You're going to be nurturing something. What is this? Prince of Swords. The way this flipped out looked like it wanted to go come out and reverse a bit. I get the energy of slowing down. I think I should slow down. Oh yeah, breathe. Then you guys have rest. Am I tripping? Did you guys have rest? Higher self resolution. Maybe that wasn't a collective reading, but there's something here with slowing down. Give me one more card. Holy Spirit. Option one. What do you want them to know, Holy Spirit? Cool down. That's what I just heard cool off, cool down. And as soon as I said that, we had the King of Wands. It was hot, fiery, right? So King of Wands, it's interesting. We have another Merkaba here. We have a lion. We have a sunflower. We have um, ruby. I would say ruby here. The heart. We have film. So creativity, inspiration. Material possessions and inspiration. The King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, along with the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Two energies coming together to create the Ten of Cups. Masculine and feminine energy. The nurturer and the doer, right? Action, caring, right? So this is more of let me create, let me stabilize. This is let me go after this creation and put it into work. Like, let me get it going, and these two come together to create this fulfillment. So this could be a partnership that's on the horizon for you guys. Okay. This could be a business partnership, a friendship, a romantic relationship. Because sometimes the Ten of Cups is just a happy community. A community that's so happy, inspired. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of feeling involved. So you have a good balance here. You have pentacles, you have fire, and you have water. But they're saying there's still a need to slow down because that Prince of Swords was in reverse. So for me, that's slowing things down to process it. Because the King of Wands will be quick to move something just right along. But the Queen of Pentacles is a bit more slower in action. In fact, she's the slowest in action. She cares about making sure that the project, whatever this is, will be steady, will be strong, will have a strong foundation, that it's not just built on rocky foundation where the king of wands might just hurry up and push something out there. So they're, I'm hearing collaborating, working together, co-creating to make sure that something, one is, I'm hearing stabilized, that it's strong, secured, long lasting, but that it actually gets out there. The King of Wands is going to make sure that it actually happens. Where the Queen of Pentacles might try to perfect it. The King of Wands is going to say, it's ready. Let's get it out there. And where the King of Wands will be quick to rush it out. The Queen of, Pen Queen of Pentacles is going to point out, hey, could use a little bit more detail. So this could be a divine partnership. This could be love. It could be romance. But once again, it could be friendship or a business partnership. These two energies are coming together to create the Ten of Cups. That could possibly lead to the Ten of Pentacles is what I'm hearing, okay? This could also be the energies within yourself. This could be represent, representing your feminine aspect and your masculine aspect. Coming together to create your happy home, right? To feel secure and stable. 
but I do feel like this could be a community, although it's only two people here, right? Two energies, the masculine and the feminine. Usually in the Ten of Cups, it shows children. So this could just be the two energies coming together together to create this. I'm hearing my cup runneth over. A good balance of slow moving and fast moving. Knowing when to use the other. And breathing through it. Wow. So, with that being said, King of Wands energy is hot, you guys. I feel that there's going to be a project, okay? There's some type of idea that could come through for you guys quite soon. And it's going to take for you to be in balance to make sure that this gets off the ground. And I mean, because when it gets off the ground, this could be really good. I mean, really good. This isn't just you thinking about an idea and not doing anything about it. This isn't just you jumping into something and not thinking about the details. It's everything combined. I thought about it. I, I dreamed it. I visioned it. I saw it. I wrote it down. I, I, I wrote, it's like writing down short-term goals and long-term goals. I wrote everything down detailed, what I needed to do. And I checked everything off the list one by one. And finally, I got it done because I checked things off the list. I did it. I didn't just dream it, envision it, and write it down and backed off of it. I took the necessary steps to get it done, knowing that the divine was going to help me. So you met the divine halfway. You know God is going to come through. You just need to take those first steps. Faith. So this is you actually coming up. I'm hearing this is from God. It's like God gives you this divinely guided idea, inspiration, I should do this. It's a gift. They're showing me the, the card from Doreen Virtue's, um, what is it, the, the Archangel cards. They're showing me um gift from God. And it's actually an angel with a chalice, like giving, giving it to you. So this idea is being gifted to you. Divinely inspired ideas, yep. It's being gifted to you and you're actually, you're going to know what to do with it. It's no more wondering, guessing, and having this idea and not doing anything about it. And then someone else does it. And you're like, darn, I had that idea first. She didn't do anything about it, right? This is you actually getting the idea and making it happen. Finally, making it happen. I know we're talking about like light code activations, which I still feel very much is a part of your reading. But this is more of you guys... Um, It's more of you guys bringing something into the physical. Sometimes, you know, we get too much in our head. It's too dreamy. It's, um, it's not materializing. This is you guys materializing something. Like making it physical, making it something you can touch, something you can gain from. This inspiration is going to give you something you can gain from. We have film here and we have pentacles. It's crazy. We have this fertility here. So something you're inspired by or something that brings you inspiration, you're going to do. And it's going to bring you some type of material gain, ga gain, wow, material gain and fortune and love, emotion, the, the love of doing something. So this could be something you love to do that's going to give you some type of prosperity. That could be them giving you that, that nudge, that do what you love. It's going to give you the stability. Yeah. Okay, so tell me to get like one more. Mm, Jesus Christ. This is beautiful. I'm gonna tell you what this is, but look. Isn't that beautiful? Whew, look at that egg again. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's something that's just waiting to be born. Something that's just waiting to, to occur. Something that's waiting to happen. It's like this North Star. This is, this is strange. Look at the egg. Yeah, it's like something that's waiting to be born. This dream, this wish you have, it's, it's, kind of like in hermit mode sitting it's just waiting it's just um it's 
bo it's cooking, it's boiling, it's it's something within the egg that's growing. It's like a baby slowly growing in the, in the mother's in the mother's womb. This idea is just it's growing. It's just building. You have a lovers. Two energies coming together to create this egg. I mean, <laughs> now you have the Knight of Swords again. So, here we go. Now we're it's like at the right time, this this egg will break. At the right time, this this baby will be born. So, with good balance, this is about balance. Okay. Yeah. This is about you guys balancing out things. The balance of masculine feminine energies to create this this egg, this this energy, this project, this baby. You know, they say, oh, that's my baby. That project was my baby. This star. This is you following your, like the North Star, following your North Node is what they're saying. You guys hold on real quick. I'm pretty sure this is like the King. I thought that was the King of Pentacles, but it could be that it is a King of Pentacles. Because this is the Two of Pentacles. Jesus Christ. So now you have the, you have a counterpart here. So you go from the, the King of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles coming together to create this egg. It's Ten of Cups. And then it transforms into the King of Pentacles. We have this Hermit energy. This egg, this star energy. They show me the star card and the Hermit card. Working on something. Manifesting something. It's like the, the star card where she's pouring e evenly into water and into the earth. It's It's alchemy really it's two energies coming together to create alchemy because that's how things are created and any, anything like a child um a project anything is created that way it has to have masculine energy and feminine energy to come together it doesn't matter what gender you are but it has to have that masculine and feminine energy to come together that's alchemy it's the sun and the moon coming together it's alchemy it's magic different different pro properties elements you guys might feel called to learn about the philosopher's stone it's a symbol has a circle a triangle wait wait a circle a triangle and a square three elements triangle three elements the merkaba as well so you guys this is a coming a coming together interconnection <laughs> what else this is your reading it's a coming together of energies what more did you need right it's i mean this in itself explains it's going to give you the ten of cups it's going to give you the ten of pinnacles it's going to give you everything you desire you have to stay in balance it's when you can embody this energy on your own that's when something that matches that frequency can come in whether it's a partner a project, and I, even more ideas, people, places, things. It just brings in a, a higher frequency. <sighs> so King of Wands turns into the King of Pentacles. They become counterparts. They come, become even more, um, what I, I just hear, enmeshed. They become even more of, um, of a match. They become... They become alike. It's like realizing that you need both energies to get something done. And it, it happens. It's happening successfully. <laughs> Cannot make this up. Temperance. The balance. Patience. Remember I said in the right timing. It's that egg. You can't just force, okay, the egg's here. Okay, break it. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. It's like, let the egg, whatever it's in the egg, let it form. Let it grow. In divine timing, it will break. In, the, in divine timing, whatever is supposed to be in it will burst out. It's about balance. It's about patience. It's about healing. This is alchemy. Definitely an angel helping you guys. This is alchemy. <laughs> they keep saying that. It's alchemy. It's alchemy. So breathe deeply. This card here is, is kind of your guidance during this time. 
It's saying breathing, grounds, feel sensations, purity, clarity, expression. That expression is the king of wands. The ground is the queen of pentacles. The breathing, the purity, and clarity, the sensations, that's the ten of cups. It's the feeling of it. It's the essence of it. Yeah. Let's see what else you guys need to know. Hmm, you guys might be getting like hot flashes. Like you guys need to cool down. Ground yourself. It's like I feel I feel amped up. I feel hyped up. Like let's get this going because it's like you're you're inspired. It's this divine, divinely guided inspiration, but it's heated. That safe. It's like the ooh, they said sacral. It's like the solar and sacral chakra just really going together. Like, oh, I have this creative idea. And then the sacral chakra has like this urge for it. Like the, almost like this lust, this passion for it. Like, oh my God, I have this idea. And the sacral chakra, like, so the solar, imagine this, the solar plexus chakra is talking to the sacral chakra, right? It's like, oh my God, I, I have this idea. We could create this, right? And then the sacral chakra is like, ooh, it's feeling passionate. Like, oh my God, if that happens, we, you know, we should, we should merge. Which would be great because if they merge in, you'll have the fire and the passion to do it. And you have the idea and it just kind of explodes together. And the root chakra is right underneath it trying to ground it. So it's like, um, it's like a launcher. Like it's trying to launch this rocket off. Like, you know, the fuel, it, it, it's just like going to push it. It's going to kind of give it that energy to accelerate. And some of you guys could be doing womb healing. I know that's just so random, but I'm hearing like womb healing. A lot of you guys could be feeling a lot of energy and your, um, like, I was saying your stomach and lower regions, if you know what I mean. Like lower, lower, all the way, lower regions. <laughs> yeah, so you guys will be feeling, you need to use that energy wisely, okay? Because that energy, I mean, I'm, I'm talking a lot of you guys could be working with tantric energy, tantric sex. Um, oh, this is going to have to be um, 18 and up. You guys could be working with a lot of like, um, you know, sexual energy. Some of you know about sex magic, alchemy via sex. Sex is alchemy in general. So sex magic is really like the same thing. It's just that people get weird when you hear magic attached to anything. But sex is magic. Sex is alchemy. It's two energies coming together to create a third energy. Whether it, phys it, whether it materializes, like becomes physical or not, it's creating a third energy. Caring community, participate and belong, enrich your life, enrich your life. That's what's happening with the Ten of Cups. So let's get one card for option one, please, Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? Look for the signs, pay attention, expect an answer. You have 11. And a lot of you who are on that whole kind of like ah, twin flame, soulmate-ish, no shade, no shade. I <laughs> know that sounds so shady. <laughs> Scorpio and me. Um, those of you who are on that, might connect like the four of wands at 11 11 you guys could be seeing 11 11 or 33 we do have 33 here i think that's so strange that we randomly have this ball that's 33 we have this little baby unicorn we have like these lilies i think these are lilies we have a dove here and we have a rainbow we have different signs so we have a spiral the divine is going to be sending you a lot of signs okay just to let you know hey you're on the right path like i'm showing you 11 11 i'm showing you 33 333 111 i'm showing you this i'm showing you a sign while you're driving i'm showing you a sign while you're at work i'm showing you a sign while you're at school i'm showing you signs via movies because you have that film role on the king of wands it can be movies television um pictures visual arts uh music they're showing they're giving you signs via media any way the divine can give you a sign, God is going to give you a sign via that way, okay? So we're all connected and you need to know that. So you're going to receive even signs from others, okay? So you, you notice how I, I got the sign with the flower. So it, it, it's like that. Look for the signs, pay attention, expect an answer. I just got this song in another reading. Oh, it's so random. Um, it's like that, y'all. It's like that, y'all. Like that, da 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 da. Like that, y'all. Is that Mariah Carey? No stress. I'm leaving it all behind. No tears. No time to cry. Something. Everybody is living it up. Something that. I, mean, I don't know why I'm hearing that song. Maybe you chose that, pal. But yeah, look for the signs. They're guiding you. So just kind of keep your keep your eyes open, your ears open. Um, they're showing me the monkey. Don't. They're saying. If anything, just observe, but keep your ears open, your eyes open. Stay woke because you're going to be giving you signs to no, to let you know, okay, this is the right move. Oh, this is the right place. Oh, this is the right person. Okay. I'm on the right path. 
So they're saying don't don't question yourself like too too much because some of you guys can be overthinkers. I know about it, okay? <laughs> I'm an overthinker, but they're saying this is not to, not the time to overthink. This is a time to strategize and to organize, not to be comparanoid. I am presence. The I am presence. I am that I am. Right? So whatever follows after I am. 44 master number, you have 33 master number. So you're about to master something. This is a level up. Two energies coming together to master something. Expand your stellar gateway, that higher um, chakra. This the spiral is symbolic. We keep having this spiral in the Merkaba for you guys. Expand your stellar gateway. I am that I am. Interconnected. I am that I am. Two energies coming together to create. And some of you guys could actually be... Um, a little curious about that you know like in religion christianity and um in catholic religion it's like god created the heavens and created the earth right but a lot of people put that a lot of people see well in religion they see god as masculine right but god would obviously have to have masculine and feminine energies god is just energy itself to create something like that right i mean think about it if masculine and feminine energy didn't matter what will be the point of Eve, right? The story of God creating um, Adam and creating these animals to be his companionship, but then realizing that that wasn't enough and these animals couldn't do it, you know, no offense to the animals, but they couldn't do the job that he, you know, that he realized Adam needed, right? He, he needed a companion that was like him in some type of way or a companion that he can create with so that they could expand, right? Adam and Eve. That so we have this Adam and Eve feminine and masculine energy. So God, you know, in the Bible is when he realized I need to create a, a, a another companion because these animals aren't going to cut it. No offense, sorry, Lou. Um, you guys, Lucy's up here right now. The, her boys are in her her boys. Her brothers are in the in the room. She's here chilling, right? Because she's quiet. And she looked up like, what animals can't do what? So laugh at that. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I was like sometimes. My dogs, it's, it feels like they know what the hell I'm talking about sometimes. I think they do. Anyways, what I'm saying is God created Eve from Adam's rib, right? Because he knew that this masculine energy needs a feminine energy to create interconnectedness. Because the animals aren't going to cut it. I mean, they're going to be friends. They're going to get along. But he can't, co you know, procreate with an animal. So, I mean, you know, with that species. So... He needed something of his own species. So when you think about that, that God realized that when creating Adam and Eve, then you would have to imagine that God, that energy is beyond, of course, beyond gender, but it has to be a good balance of masculine and feminine energies. It's it's a, a mixture. It isn't a gender. It's hard for us to get that out of our head that God isn't he. He he. I mean, I say it all the time. I you know, it's my it's my upbringing. But I, I do know that God has to be beyond a he she. It will be more of a they if we really want to put a pronoun on God. Right. So which is silly because God is beyond our human mind. So it it's masculine from energies coming together to create boom adam and eve could be symbolic for you guys and for someone i'm hearing lilith someone's gonna be like but lilith okay <laughs> all right so yeah that is your reading so you guys are gonna receive signs like that <sighs> interesting okay <laughs> moving on to option two what's up you guys so <sighs> it got hot in option one it really did so let's move on to um you guys is reading option two i need to let's get some energy let me show you guys a card so that i can also remember the timing for this reading moon it's like she's teleporting or telekinesis mind reading as well telepathy telekinesis the brain I just heard removing mental stagnancy. Removing mental stagnancy. Let's get some healing here. Okay. Close your eyes.
So I'm hearing, do you guys want to go on a mental journey with me? That's what I heard, just like that. Do you guys want to go on a mental journey with me? I'm also hearing that some of you guys could be air signs or you could be embodying that air sign energy right now. And there's a lot of like, um, the brain is overactive right now. There's a lot of, um, you're showing me, that is so strange. There's this museum that I remember going to as a kid, it's a science museum. And they show how the body um, works. And there was this, it's like, it's not really, it's kind of like a dummy, but it's, it's um, a fixture they created, this model. And it showed how the brain works. It showed the body, like beyond, you know, of course, like seeing internal, internal what's happening internally in the body. So they showed the eyes like moving, like you could see the brain moving, you know, not the brain moving, but you could see the brain and the functioning. And there was this part of the museum where it actually lit up different areas of the brain to show you that. And that's what they're showing me. So they're also showing me a robot. Um, they're really getting good at these robots, you guys. It's kind of creepy. Oh, telekinesis, telepathy. So there's like a future energy here with this reading. You guys are like really tapping into some type of futuristic kind of energy because you're showing me a brain, um, the, well, yeah, they're showing me a brain, but they're showing me like um, a skeleton with the eyes. They're just showing you the eyes. Like if you could see beyond our face and see us kind of working and moving, like see our, the way we move our jaw, the way we, you know, move our eyes, our eye sockets, like how big, with the creepy eyes out, but it's like, just, they're showing me like the eyes just moving around. They're showing me like the brain and just the functioning of everything behind the, you know, the body, the, out, the outward body. They're showing me the functioning. So they show me a, a, a robot and it's like, um, oh gosh, there's this robot where they're, they're trying to make these robots look more like humanoids, right? Doing a pretty damn good job of it. Job of it. It's kind of scary, but they took off the mask of this robot, right? And behind it, you could just see the eyes just kind of, you know, moving around and, doing this right <laughs> and you know so they're showing me that but they're actually showing me, uh, showing me a human brain so they're showing me like how everything that's happening behind the scenes you know of the of the outer body i know it's strange it's strange and if i tell you what i'm getting next i would creep you out um what's that movie with anthony hopkins <laughs> With a Hannibal Lecter. I can't remember, but they're showing me the brain, okay? That's all you need to know. They're showing me the brain. They're just showing me as a visual. It's not the movie. You know, it, it, the movie has nothing to do with your reading. It's just the brain, okay? They're showing me the, the visual of the brain. And um, so they're saying neurosurgeon. Neurosurgery. So um, the study of the mind, study of the brain, different parts of the brain left side right side it's just different it's like a map right the brain is like a map different functioning this represents this this has this um, you guys I'm, I'm not really into um digging that deep <laughs> but if i were i could give you guys what i'm what i'm seeing right now but i don't know the terms um they're showing me the brain and they're showing me it's just something deeper it's something way deeper than that the mind is phenomenal. It's a study of the mind, but the mind is phenomenal. It's, it's, it's deeper. It's much deeper than what we, um, how we study it. That's what they're saying. So, you know, there's been studies um, of people who are psychics. There's been studies on people who are mediums. Uh, what is that show? There's actually a documentary, I believe, on Netflix where, um, what is it, Afterlife or something like that, where they, they talk about people who are grieving their loved ones and they have like mediums and there's like, they're, um, what do they call them? I don't know. They were having, I don't know, was it like psychologists? Were they studying the, the, you know, mediums or something? They were trying to see what in a person's mind, like how could someone see like another realm or how could they see past on beings? How could they see something that others aren't seeing? You guys might want to look up that, like studies of, um, what would that be called? Would that be like um, psychology um, studies of like the mediumships of psychology and mediumship, psychology and psychic? It, it's something there like, okay, is this true? It's like someone trying to break down. Is it possible that humans could possibly see past on beings? It, it, it's like this whole pheno phenomenon. That's what they just said of um, what's real and what isn't real. Okay, so is it possible that we could, that there's, that, 
that people are mediums and psychics. Because if it's possible, if we could prove that, then we can prove that furthermore, there is something beyond life. There's something, there's something outside of what we're seeing. Some of you guys could be intellectuals. You, you guys are deep and you want to read into things. You want, you could be trying to study some, trying to figure something out. What is the connection with the higher realms and in the realm that we're on? Is there even a connection? Is it, is there a such thing? How could I be so sure? And, and it's crazy because they're showing me like um, how one side of her head is, is shaved and the other side isn't. So I don't know. And if you've gone through this, man, much respect to you and I wish you the best. If you guys have had something with um, your mind, like any surgery when it comes to, you know, your, you know, the brain or the head in any way where you have to shave your head. I send you guys love and healing energy. A lot of respect. There's something there. There's something with that, like the mind. It's just a study of the mind. That it's representing the mind. I know people that have tattoos. Well, I know of people that have tattoos on their on their head. And they just show me that. There's this guy. He, he has a bunch of tattoos, all spiritual tattoos up his head. Connecting down his spine. The, the spinal cord. And the connection. How he sense things. How he pick up things. Going all the way... Oh, the spinal cord. That makes sense. So the brain and the spinal cord, how they they connect all the way, of course, all the way down to the spine, all the way down. So tibula bone. They're showing me something with the, the back, the the back connecting to the what is that called? It's it's sensory, but it's memory. Wasn't there a study that they did recently where they, they could show that um it, maybe it wasn't just the brain that was picking up, like it's the receivers, like um Oh gosh, what is that called? It. They did some type of study and they felt that this maybe the spine had um is it spinal fluid that maybe the spine had a lot to do with what we remembered, right? Because think about our motor functions. Our body has we have muscle memory. We have a a lot that's interconnected. All working together as one like a robot, right? There's different pieces that you have to put together to make this work. And a lot, a lot, a lot of times we think it's just the heart that, you know, carries a lot of the weight, or the brain that carries a lot of weight. Which, in in actuality, you know, you got to have both to to work, right? I mean, some people, I don't want to trigger anyone, right? But this is just an example. Like some people are brain dead, and the body still works, right? And and then some people, it's like the heart is giving out. Everything else works, but the heart gives out. And that's why people, you know, these, these doctors, you know, different people have worked so hard to try to figure out how could we um, extend our lives? How can we evolve? Transplants, right? That's why people try to create these different, you know, things like how can we do a heart transplant? Can we do, you know, all of this. <laughs> can someone still live and only have a, a specific, you know, only a partial part of their brain? You know, how would they live? How would their motor functions be? Or what if we could do a transplant? What if we could do something like that? There's something, it's like someone's thinking, like, and, in, and then they're talking to a team of people and they're trying to figure out how could we evolve? How could we possibly continue on? Okay, so this is deep. This one is really deep. It's science, it's medical, it's... You could be in the health field. I'm hearing everything. I'm hearing a neurosur a neurosurgeon. I'm hearing science. I'm hearing um, psychology, psychiatry, studies of the body. I'm just, I'm getting everything. And that's all off of one card. You guys, I have this deck that I'm going to get for you guys real quick. I'm, I'm curious to see if something comes up from it, okay? So, let me see. Hmm. I don't have a 
book. Yikes. Holy Spirit, what does option two need to know? Let's bless these cards. What do they need to know? Option two. The moon. One, please. Because I'm really getting like the spine, the brain. This is creation, the pelvis. All the way down to the table. Yeah, so, okay. We have that. So, something being grounded, something being rooted. We have the Merkaba. Isn't that interesting? Oh, the colors match. It's wild. Can you. Trans. Transition, axis vertebrae. Look at the skull. Axis vertebrae, transition. Psych. Look at the brain. Look at how this is spiraling from these three skulls and look how it's spiraling from her head. You get, you see that? Let me get maybe two more but one at a time that one belonging sacrum uh, so like this would be like kundalini energy it's all base it's like the head and the base coming together it's like i'm two screws right holding something And what would be in between those, if you think about it, what would be in between that? The spine, connecting it. So, let's see. One more, please. I don't know what's up here. It's way too many. Right here. Potential. Hyoid. Yeah, it's like, what is the potential? Remember I talked about how could we further advance the human condition when something breaks down how could we potentially prolong life and what is that is it japanese or chinese the broken um broken uh dishes that they put gold they fill gold within the broken parts so that it could be whole again i forgot what that's called is it chinese is it japanese i can't remember i just can't remember where it's from but it's amazing and it's it's that it's like let's mend how could we it's like bringing two parts together a better understanding it it's the physical and the spiritual right it's what's realistic reality and possibly what could be beyond that does that make sense so it's like what we already have here in the 3D right now, in the present moment, the knowledge we have, the studies we have, you know, it's that, but it's beyond that. What could possibly be in the future? What's, do higher realms exist? Is there something outside of, something bigger than these planets, right? Is there, is there a bigger force? Is there a bigger energy here? It's the combination of two energies. What's out there? How could we expand? Is this real? It's, it's it's advancement i mean it's it's that simple it's how could we advance the human form in order to advance the human form we need to know there's so much there's so much that we need to know when we need to know how the physical form works right we need that we need the scientific facts we need reality right we need that only when we have reality in the physical facts can we I'm hearing ponder if we could wonder is this possible is this real hmm what if we cre could create this it's the physical and it's the idea what or or the what if what if this is real what if we could create that it's something that's kind of um it's it's something you can't grasp yet because it's just an idea or, or, or it's a thought or what if you're saying vague it's like um it for us for a scientific mm, scientific they're saying for a scientist or someone who's more based off of science and facts and what's real 
something that they can see and prove. For someone like that, that, up, that opposite energy is just mythical or folklore or I won't believe it until I see it. I won't believe it until we can prove it. Prove the functioning. And then you have those who, who know that, oh yeah, I believe that this is that because we can prove it here. But I also believe that there is so much more. It's these polar opposite energies. And that's kind of what the world is right now, right? Think about it. Because you have a lot of doctors and um, scientists that they only believe in the, the, the facts. Prove it. If you can prove it, then I believe it. If you can't prove it, then I don't believe it. It needs to be in front of me. You have people who are like that. No shade, right? They need the facts. They want to see it. They want the proof of it. How does it work? Then you have people who are, yes, they believe in the facts, but they believe there's other other possibilities, right? Because at one point, even the facts were just ideas, right? I mean, think about it. At one point, there are tools that we didn't believe could exists to help us right but one person an inventor someone decided what if we put this in this together to create this that's why we have cures for th certain things that's why we have knowledge about different diseases because someone dived deeper someone you know went thought outside of the box and said hey maybe this and this you know go together they're saying configuration it someone digged deeper so that's what makes a genius a genius. You have your scientists, you have people who are just facts. Oh, okay, this is the facts. I'm sticking with these facts, right? And you have people who go deeper and they dive deeper. They're like, okay, let's see. How could we, how could we go further? How could we prog progress more? In order to progress, pro oh, whoa. In order to progress more, you have to dig deeper. You have to expand. You have to think outside of the box and think of the possibilities. You can't just stay stuck here in the in the square of I'm staying with what I know. Because you're going to stay there within that one behavior, those one ideas, not ideas, those, those that one book of <laughs> facts, right? You're not going to think outside the box because that's all you're, you're, you're stuck in. You're stuck in your little box. And where you think it might be expansive, it's not. Because you're not progressing. You're staying with what is. And that's what makes a genius a genius. Someone who's willing to get out of that box, that structure of this is what they said it is, this is what we have facts on, and that's it. That's what makes someone, a, a, you know, you can call it a trendset or a genius, um, someone to remember in history. That person that can go beyond that and, and show that there's a possibility that this could happen and that this is capable of doing this and we could help with this and this could help fix this. That person is who we end up paying attention to. Even if they try multiple times and didn't work. So we're talking Nikola Tesla. We're talking Albert Einstein. You know, it's those energies that come together. To create something different. Something unique. They, they dive deeper. And, and maybe they're not even afraid to get a little crazy, right? <laughs> like, okay, I'm going to get a little crazy just to see just to dig deep right sometimes it's like you know some people do math and their head starts to hurt it's like oh god all these equations and uh, like take it away <laughs> that's me i'm like god take it away i don't want any more math i don't want to see this i don't want to i don't want to look at this I'm, I'm getting a headache i don't want to dig deeper yeah some people they get like this this passion for it right like i need to know i'm gonna break this down and they dig deeper and they start putting equations you know together so everyone has something that they they are, they feel passionate about and i'm getting i'm getting this energy from you guys so this is mathematics this is science this is um metaphysical this is um science this is science this is this is science and spirituality coming together it's physical and what's yet to be seen or what's yet to be comprehended yeah because it could be seen but who's going to believe it right because we haven't mastered, oh, I got this vision, I had this memory of a past life, and now, boop, I can give it to you. Tele tele um, telepathy, right? We haven't all gotten there yet. Maybe somebody's working on that. Because we have these three heads connected here. On some matrix-ish. How could I get you to see what I see? How can I import... It's like airdropping, right? 
If these iPhones and Mac computers can airdrop, why can't we airdrop thoughts? You know, it's like, well, have we not elevated? Have we not grown? Sorry guys, I felt called to open the door. Have we not grown, you know? Have we not ascended <laughs> far enough? So, wow, that was deep. Let's move on to your next cards. <sighs> So you guys might feel called to look up Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein. You guys might feel called to look up different scientists. You know, though scientists, doctors, what do they call them, mathematicians? You might feel called to look up different people who, who've made changes over, you know, over time. Those, you know, those, we call them nerds, right? Those weird nerds that are making robots, you know, <laughs> you know, people trying to, trying to, um, clone humans, you know, cloning animals, which has already happened. So, you know, there's going, don't get me started. So there's a study here. What is this? Judicium. Oh my God. What is this card? Shuck. I forgot what card this is, you guys. Is this a judgment card? This might be a judgment card. 1919 could be symbolic for you guys. I think this is a judgment card. I see. What else can I get from this? It's studies. This is studies. Because even the statue with the man, you know, he looks like a, a pharaoh with the snake. It's making me think of knowledge. Oh, we have a snake here like how many times? We have a, we have two snakes on this card and we have two snakes here. Snakes shedding shedding their skin, wisdom. Some people think kundalini energy. Some people, um, this, um, you know, when you think about a snake, you kind of think of like the, it going up the spine. If you think about it, it makes you think of um, the crown from ancient Egypt. You know how the, some of them have the snake? And what did that represent for them? You guys need to look up that. The snake on a, on the Egyptian crown. Not all of them had that. Um, when did that start, actually? Hold on, you guys. We about to get deep. Um, isn't it a cobra? Hold on, you guys. Snake on... I swear... Ah, bingo. Yeah, yeah. No. Hold on, you guys. Sneak. Mm. Yeah, Feral's crown. It's so crazy. I was pressing on one thing and it took me to something totally else. In ancient Egypt, the serpent was believed to be the first offspring, uh, first offspring of primeval earth. What the fuck? Excuse my French, you guys. This is not okay. This is something totally else. We're not gonna read that. No, not the snake and staff. Eurasis. Okay, bingo. Now I found it. Is it your your Eurus or Eurasis? What I was originally reading, somebody had like created on their own. Hold on. Like it didn't look um it didn't look legit. Okay, so Eurasis. I hope I pronounced that right. Eurasis. Rearing Cobra is a stylized upright form of the egyptian cobra uses a symbol of serenity royalty deity and divine authority in ancient egypt wedge it so that's like the sun um isn't it the sun it's like a disc right a solar disc maybe i'm tripping oh my gosh i'm doing all of this i'm just trying to find one thing and they would take me through all of this let me look at that card real quick
I want a simple meaning, but they're not giving me that and it's making me a little upset. Okay, look that up on your own time, you guys. That could be something symbolic. They're saying the winged snake. I'm not trying to really look, I'm not trying to look up the winged snake. I just want to know. So it's just a symbol of Wedjet, an Egypt, an Egypt protection deity of Lower Egypt. That's kind of interesting. I feel like there's something more to that, though. Serpent and snake. DNA. Some people feel like it has to do with DNA. Like, you know how ancient Egyptians are like further, you know, ahead than us? There's something more to it, you guys, but I don't have time to hold you here. So look that up and tell me how it connects with you because there's something here with that. Hmm. Let's tap back in. Winged. Winged snake. Maybe that is it. You have this bird here, right? But not only do you have the bird here, there. If this is the judgment card, the angel that blew its trumpet, the rebirth, the snake, rebirth. I think this is the energy of trying to figure out how could we pro, not produce, but how could we prolong life, or what's the what's the deeper meaning behind life is there something more ace of swords yes yeah, it's like all study it's all knowledge it's like oh let me go into the library and pull all these books out and try to compare facts and ideas like trying to prove evidence scientific evidence it's like someone trying to prove their case right like let me go and put the facts together and try to prove that this is possible Luna, the moon. Yo, the unknown, what's hidden. This is what this is about. So you have the Ace of Swords here, which is clarity, it's philosophy. We have this just the justice scales here. There's a lot about just improving, like mental improvement, knowledge. Then we have the moon here, which is the unknown. Feminine energy, Look at this mermaid, right? Look at that card, isn't that gorgeous? But the moon is here. This is all about the unknown. The moon is here twice. Femininity. And all the, and all of these cards have a blue green hue to them. Blue green. So It's very fluid. It's It's like trying to ground this fluid energy. How can we prove it? It's that simple. How can we prove that this is real? How can we prove that everything is connected? This is more of the, it's very mental. We have attainment. Six of wands. Look at this. This is, is this Jupiter? Is this ruled rule by Jupiter? Yep. Bingo. It's philosophy. They're showing me like Sagittarius energy philosophy. Yeah. And there's this little like reptile here, which is often seen on a lot of the King of Wands cards. And we have an elephant, which is like, for me, it's something ancient, something old, wisdom, ancestors, family. So it's looking at the past. We have lemons. And it's making me think of the energy of when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? So when life gives you these lessons, you, you make something out of it. But I'm getting that when, when you're giving facts, right? When you're giving facts and different ideas from the past, let's take it and see how we can make something out of it. What more can we add on, in, add on to this? And we have these scrolls here, which is about like knowledge and wisdom, right? Look at that. And there's this huge building, which is giving me higher font energy. So some of you guys could be going back to school or, or feeling the call to go back to school or to learn something. 
this is this is uh, this is big this is a um this is knowledge this is wisdom this is like this is brainiac kind of energy so some of you guys like i said scientists doctors lawyers putting the facts together connecting the pieces like the puzzle pieces it's it's like a, a re, or what do they call them rubik's cube right This is some genius energy. Six of Wands is victory. That one person, remember what I said? That one person who can make a huge change in the world. That one person that decided to go a little bit further. They died. They took their Ace of Swords, the judgment, right? Their intellect, the judgment call. So this, this person is working with their intuition and they're also working with factual you know what's facts right and they're putting them together and they're becoming like this genius because they're putting these two together right like the snakes they're bringing these two energies together the spiritual and and the reality right and they're thinking bigger they're thinking ahead they're saying what if Let's dig deeper into the unknown. Let's go deeper into unknown territory and let's create or let's figure out what's never been created or what's never been figured out before. The brain is a powerful weapon. You can use it wisely or it, it could be it could be or it can be destructive, right? Because a lot of times we're at war with our what? Our brain. We're in fear of the unknown. We're scared to dive deeper. The brain is is, is is wild playground. And that's what I'm getting for you guys. It's like, this is, your angel's asking to use your brain wisely. You have an overactive brain, calm it down, ground your energy, right? Sit still. Some of you guys are needing to go to, um, or, or look into uh, acupuncture, um, car, uh, going to a chiropractor, or maybe you're learning about things like that, right? The body, the human body. But it's all going to connect right back to the brain. So you're digging deeper, cutting through the illusions and getting to the truth of things. This is going to bring you some type of victory. Some of you guys could be the ones that figure something out, find something out. This is being seen, being acknowledged for something that you've done. That plane. Yeah, it's like you went higher. It's. You're saying university for some of you. Theories. This is theory. This is big. Are you guys the next geniuses? The next, the people to, the inventors? Who, who are you? You never know until you try. I'm going to turn the light on real quick, you guys. Bear with me. Okay, so let's get back into your reading. Because, whoa. There's a portal here. I don't... Jeez. See, this is once again going right back to this card. See this card? Get a good look at it. See all that dark blue energy around it? Now check this out. I wish I could zoom in. Do you see that portal in the back with the stairs? There's a human or energy sitting like cross-legged with all this light as it's hid. It's like all this expansion, all this light coming from their brain. Beyond her, beyond the illusion, beyond these staircases, there's another stair, I mean, beyond these steps, there's a staircase here with a portal of this divine energy, enlightenment of the mind. And you have this energy here. It could even
even be that out of nowhere, this person, their angels, give them some type of wisdom, knowledge. That's something that someone would say, how did you know that? How did you put these pieces together? Maybe, maybe Nikola Tesla, maybe Albert Einstein, maybe not only did they have the facts, not only did they have the, the knowledge, they had some type of spiritual knowledge. They had knowledge that was a little bit beyond, like the ancient Egyptians, right? Some of us feel that maybe they had alien help or something like that, right? So <laughs> maybe they had help, right? Maybe the pyramids weren't built by just them alone, you know? So these, all these theories, all these ideas, it's channeled information how do people know what they know how do mediums know what they know how do psychics know what they know how could you tap into something that you couldn't how could you tap into energy like that so with the owl here this is wisdom this is all about knowledge this is all about wisdom this is about studies philosophy look philosophy science math the whole shebang it's everything, mind, body, spirit, coming together, learning something and communicating about it or taking note of this. I'm hearing like winning an award. This is like winning an accolade of some type of reward. It's like randomly there's an article about this kid or this professor or someone who, <laughs> they just a Professor X, oh Lord, X-Men. They're just saying, or this X-Men, the professor, telepathy right remember i said how could we share thoughts how could we see some of you guys might feel called to watch x-men and he wore this thing on his head right what was what was his story what was his background why was he in the wheelchair again why why what was going on with him it's that you know but it's the story of you hearing about some kid or some professor who finally figured some, did some type of research. Maybe they've been at it for a little bit and they finally tapped into something. They were finally able to prove something. It's that. <laughs> I don't know why you guys need to know this, but if you chose this path, you needed to know that. The moon, this is also, I mean, I, I could go basic with you guys and say, hey, the moon is you guys tapping into the unknown and tapping into your femininity and your emotions and yeah, it could, it's that, but it's way beyond that. That's basic. You guys are about to tap into some higher knowledge. It's really, it's channeled, but it's it's going to be a good balance of physical, those justice skills. Where do we see that? It's going to be a good balance of channeled higher information and also physical facts, resources. You're going to be able to prove it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool in my opinion. <laughs> I just heard fly me to the moon that frank sinatra song okay let's get um you guys have the emperor at the bottom of the deck Shit. excuse my french wolves could be symbolic for you guys wolves wolves ravens crows vultures snakes it's a little bit darker it's a bit of um, um i would say it's a mixture of like pluto and mars because they're saying aries and um yeah with aries the emperor but they're saying scorpio too it's diving into the unknown the the what's hidden the hidden mysteries let's dig deeper they're showing me the mummy it's like let's let's go deeper let's, let's dive let's dive in So this is some strange stuff, you guys, but it's deep. Okay, let's get into what you guys need to know. What else? <laughs> and the fact that we keep having all these airplanes go by and your reading is deep to me. The divine matrix, interconnectedness. This is a little bit like option one, but interconnectedness, the divine matrix, synchronicities, and God, God coincidence. So it's like coincidence, but God, God incidences. So, God incidences would be 
how the hell did you put that together? Like, how did you figure this out? How did you find this out when people have been studying this for decades and centuries? How, how the hell did you put this together? How did you know where to look? How did you connect this? How did you know this would work? Because you channeled some type of higher wisdom. That moon energy is the unknown. You tapped into the unknown because you were the one meant to. Not everyone's meant to tap into everything. Like they could try their hardest to figure it out and they didn't, they, they didn't figure it out in their lifetime. It's like not everyone is gonna be able to go to the moon, right? Maybe a certain generation, multiple people will be able to do that. A bunch of people maybe, right? So it's like different generations. Like one generation works on this, builds this, and the next builds this, and the next build, builds that, the staircase, right? Slowly building up. And then finally, boom. This one generation, they have all the tools necessary along with some type of higher wisdom and they get it done, right? So like maybe in, in that time frame, ancient Egypt was that 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 generation that got ish done, right? So, you know, it's like, what do they call them? Um, the, millenn the millennials, right? They, they're, we're surrounded with all this technology, right? We have technology that our, our ancestors didn't have. Or we, or we think they didn't have, right? So <laughs> we have technology that a certain gr group of people didn't have. And there'll be even more down the line. This is futuristic energy. This is a little bit of the past. The past is creating a, a solid foundation for you to build one, to create that staircase, that ladder. So, and telepathy. Temple of truth, throat chakra, speaking up, authenticity, self-expression and even this the, the divine matrix right it looks like the matrix gates are opening here and there's a flood of inspiration from a totally different world a totally different dimension the truth the temple of truth truth is wisdom knowledge facts so facts coming through from higher realms self-expression how could you how can you express this authenticity okay so being true to you let's get some more <sighs> look at this align your universe it's fine align you guys need to get an alignment you guys might actually need to do yoga make sure that your body is in proper alignment we have align your universe, navigate distractions. So get rid of distractions so you can tap into this energy. We have a butterfly, we have a moon, or, or we have different planets, different orbs, and we have this goddess energy in the clouds. And we have this brain, this mind that's expanding. All of this is expanding from this mind. That third eye, the crown chakra, all aware, just off the charts movement. It's... um. What is it that they show? Um, it, it, it's like, uh, uh, shit. Um, excuse my French, you guys. It's like the x-ray scan. Like, when they look at a brain, right, two brains, they're comparing the two. This is a brain. They have all the red dots around or the lights around it. They say, okay, this is the brain that's, you know, um, not working properly. And this is the, the normal functioning of the brain. And this brain has this going on. And they compare the two. Well, this is like, them comparing someone's brain when they've had an orgasm or something like that or when they've reached a state of bliss it's a study of how one's um they're even say motor functioning there's something there with that so it's like how how we how everything works like a robot how could i get how could i align this uh they said mechanical functioning how could i al align this uh this robot so that I could make its arm move and then make the other arm move? How could I make the make this robot um, give us, you know, uh, human expression, human emotions? Like, well, not emotions, how could I make it give off a certain facial expression? You know, like, so it's wiring, it's certain wiring. And all of this wiring is gonna come, it's gonna stem right back to one source, right? Because it's like, um, like your hand, right? all of these bones are connected everything's connected to one part right if you think about it so it's like the functioning how could we get all these different elements to work together that's so strange but it's so science it's 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 deep it's like how could we get everything to 
to function? How can I, this is why the human body is so important. Like even nerve damage can throw off so much. There's so many things that you can learn that how the, how the brain sends out, <laughs> what is it? Sends out sensory, sends out signals for you to move something. That's why, you know, I'm not trying to scare people or anything. That's like, but when someone loses a limb, I'm sorry guys, someone, that's why when someone loses a limb, it, it, they still feel like they had, sometimes they can still feel it there, but it's not there. Cause the brain still thinks that it's, it's there. Um, and that, uh, now we have new technology where there's these prosthetics that can move. You know what I mean? So this is what I'm talking about. This is cutting edge science, cutting edge history. Like this is like cutting edge technology mixed together with science and spirituality. It's something that's so cutting edge. Like, uh, you know, they have these different futuristic like um, groups um, that they're creating different things. So it's like something like that um oh god they just gave me something else what was i saying there oh it's kind of like a car right so i didn't learn this until i got into my first car accident right oh, so horrible but new drivers usually get into a car accident even though it wasn't my fault um but anyways my car still remembered even though it was fixed right even though it was completely fixed it still remembered the accident there's something um I forgot what it was called. It still remembered that. I, I can't remember what it's called, but kind of this this man he described it to me. He said your car still remembers that it was in an accident that this isn't working even though it's fixed. Hard to explain. So kind of like the body still remembers. Oh, I hurt myself here. Out, you know. So you know, it's like an old ener uh, not energy. Ooh, old injury that it still remembers. Muscle memory. It's memory. It's the brain it, it all connects back to the brain that's why certain people they can psych themselves out that's why we have placebo pills right it can archangel michael it can show you that how how strong the brain is right how the brain can you know you can out trick yourself you can, it it's deep <laughs> it's deep it's so much here but align your universe so they're saying you need to align yourself mentally maybe i went through all of that just so you can realize Get out of these distractions. Get, get away from distractions and, and navigate. Like, align yourself. What you focus on, you can manifest. If you want to learn more, then tap in. So, you guys. Let me get one more and then we're going to end it. Soul satisfaction. Honor your uniqueness. Do what makes you feel good. Five, change. So, do what makes you feel good. Soul satisfaction. Tap into what makes you feel whole. Align your universe with what makes you feel happy. And it will give you more of that is what they're saying. I haven't even gotten to your other cards. It's so crazy. Give me. Well of dreams. Creation, visions, messages. Dissolve the veil. Bliss dreams. So you guys could be getting some type of visions, dreams of things. It's like this indigo energy is very strong here. It's like you're going beyond the veil. Seeing deeply of life okay enlightenment with the lotus take the next step let go of the old paradigm Ooh, take the next step you have another portal you have another dragon here this is you about to step into new territories new way of thinking a new way of being future stepping stones okay some crazy stuff here man this got wild <laughs> deeper than i thought it would healing path look at this mind body and soul three energies those three skulls healing path we were talking about all that medicine we're talking about the body we're talking about science we're talking about technology math it all connects it all connects give me one more card you guys are probably the longest you guys are deep and she got me jumping Y'all, <laughs> this is some crazy-ish. Whispers. So remember I said, like, channeled information? If I'm not mistaken, in the beginning, did I say, you know, the monkeys? Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Three energies. You have this third energy here, mind, body, spirit. And you have the whispers here. And 
And um, what I'm getting here it, with the moon, and you have that portal, and then you have the the moon here with this being. And remember I said X-Men earlier? Professor X. It's giving me, like, you know how he's able to connect, like, speak with them, tele like this telepathy this telepathy right this telepathic communication it's like the divine is giving you channeled messages whispers but only when you connect only when you get centered can you hear this that's why you need to align so the divine is going to give you guidance and channeled messages and they're going to communicate with you realms that you've never you know thought about like it's like how did i know this how did i hear that how 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 why how 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 do i prove this that Telepathy, connecting with other beings, knowing things that you shouldn't know, or how did you know? So, <sighs> turning the light on, enlightenment. I literally turned the light on for you guys. So it's like enlightenment, right? We're done. <laughs> if you like this reading, it could be happening in your dreams too, y'all. Like a lot is going on mentally, okay? But um, if you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But your girl's got to go. You guys are, whew, you guys are doing a lot here. <laughs> got me feeling like I'm at, in, in school right now. And just, whew, child. Look, if you are still here, 33. 33 is a master number. Someone else had 33. Was it you? I can't remember. Balance will be restored. Mind, body, spirit. Balance. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the brain, yo. Why did they just say, oh my, 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 I'm feeling high, or is it fly? Dun, 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 I wanna know, dun, 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 dun. Erica Badu. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. You run into destruction cause you don't have nothing left. The mothership ain't wait wait something so your ass is gonna get left if we were made in his image then call us by our name most intellects do not believe in god but if fear him just the same or if fear us just the same oh, oh no and on and on i am so this is a shame that i don't know the words i used to i don't anymore erica badu on and on that's your song go go listen to that that specifically that part Okay. They're even saying astronomy and astrology. You guys, this is this is deep. But I gotta go. So um <laughs> Alright, um yeah. They keep holding me here with you guys, and I'm trying to get up out of this energy. Like this is deep. Ooh. <laughs> I can't even think right now. Like there's a lot of energy. Get me out of this. <laughs> it's like they're taking me on some type of trip and I'm trying to get up out of here to move on to option three, but they want to stay with you guys and I'm, I'm done. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Cause my heart was coming down. No baby, something. I think I need a cup of tea. Oh, what a day! A day, a day. Okay. <laughs> okay, I need, I need time. Wait, a little time. Please go look up the lyrics. If you guys are still here, go look up the lyrics of that song. <whistles> We're out. New energy, please, Holy Spirit. <whistles> hey, three. Three. Option two was wild. Okay. Three. We're here. We're here, three. Let's get some new energy. <laughs> we finally made it to you.
shamans. You guys are shamans. You guys are healers. I'm getting energy in the hands. They're showing me... Um, so the first vision they showed me was a Native American man sitting on the ground with his eyes closed, like he was channeling information and energy from the earth. And then they showed me someone who's African, you know, doing the same thing, different, whoa. Yeah, they're saying different spaces, maybe even different timelines, but they're showing me two different cultures, specifically some type of Native American tribe or indigenous tribe and they're showing me um someone who seems to be african or indigenous right so just indig two di two different indigenous tri um tribe the two masculine energies it doesn't have to be a male um it doesn't have to be a male but i did see two men what i'm saying is don't don't think it's you know not connected to you because it's a male it could be an ancestor but there's two males sitting down in two different places meditating and, and channeling something these are shamans. These are shamans. So this could have to do with your bloodline. Um, you needing to learn more about your bloodline. Learn about where you come from. You guys need to connect with the earth. Animal medicine. So this is your card. I'm sorry I started without your card. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm going to have to go back and figure that out. You have the bear here which I like to connect with the hermit card. But we also have like this, um, that could, well, I don't know why I'm hearing elk. What is an elk? I'm hearing elk, but I want to say stag. You have this male stag energy, but we have an elk here. You guys, what is, what is a, um, oh, and we have a tiger. We have a tiger. You see that tiger's face up there? You have a bear and a tiger. You have this, woman who could possibly be indigenous and beyond her you see other people a part of her tribe this is tribal this is indigenous so a lot of you guys are needing to connect with your ancestors needing to connect with um like shaman shamanism like old um old forms of devotion and spirituality and healing wholehearted bridge I actually want to know more about this card. I, ha I didn't do this for anybody else, but we're going to go on this book. So to listen to what is inside me is to listen to the world around me. I listen to the wisdom of my body that tells me that years have passed and that even though I haven't realized it, many times I still listen to life through the prism of my childhood. I now listen with awareness to the voice of my infancy asking for my attention so this is the inner child i now listen with awareness to the voice of my adolescence asking for my attention i accept it stored and accumulated painful memories during these years i decide to heal my wounds with much love and delicate strength ancestral healing this is you healing your inner child gently with love i approach my inner child and say forgive me for all of the walls i have built around you Thank you for being an important part of me, a part that I have not paid enough attention to. For all the pain, I am sorry and I ask your forgiveness. I care for you, I love you, and I, I admire you with understanding in spite of all adversity. Thank you for your willingness to let go of these things. This is you guys overcoming generational curses, but also tapping in. This is you healing your inner child, but also tapping into ancestral knowledge and wisdom. It's not always about the curses and what was done wrong within our, our, our bloodline, right? Sometimes we forget to look at the good things that were done in our bloodline. What did our, what did our ancestors know? How did they heal? It's not always about the bad. It's, sometimes it's about the good. Don't forget the good. Wholehearted bridge. It says, I am faithful to my own being. I tell myself the truth and that is how I take care of myself. Without judgment, today I recognize and embrace that pure and innocent being who dwells in me. I talk, I feel, I am finally listening to myself. The one who suffers is the child, not me. Okie dokie. And yet I still feel there's something much deeper to this card. Elk, let's look up the elk. It's very earthy, you guys. Yo. 
it looks a lot like the, um, okay, hold on. That is strange, because it looks a little bit like, um, the stag, it's, it's horns. Okay, not it's horns, it's, um, antlers. Male horns. Oh, 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 no, go back. You know when you see a search and it matches exactly what you're wondering? Bingo. What does the elk mean? Bingo. So the elk in Native American tribes. Wapiti, Shawnee and Cree, or Hehaka, Lakota, in high esteem. And, oh, they hold it in high esteem and consider him a relative, a relative who brings strength, endurance, and patience. It says the elk is a survivor and protector bringing good omens to people. The survivor, your inner child. The survivor, your inner child. Also, the strength of your bloodline, your ancestors. Oh, I love that. Mm. The elk is a survivor and protector, bringing good omens to people. Sheesh. Okay, that feels good. I, I actually feel like that's, that, that, that is what that is. Because sometimes I'll read things, I'm like, nah, that's not it. This is it. And there is different meanings in different cultures. So, but I specifically got an indigenous person. Let me see, let me see something else. They have a meaning in, in Celtic culture too, you guys. Um, let me see if that, that will show. I wanted to see if they had anything like for elks in African culture. Like, is there a, a specific meaning connected to some, uh, Af you know, some type of indigenous tribe from Africa? But mm, I'm not saying nothing. Um, but you guys can totally do more research on the elk and see what comes up for you. Okay, so boom, the elk. I want to see a picture of it because I'm just like really getting drawn to it now. Let's kind of meditate on that animal's energy. That actually might be what you guys need to do. Look up the, a picture of an elk. It's crazy because all three pals, we have Archangel Michael energy coming through too. Protection, protection and survivor, the protector and survivor. Archangel Michael could be working with you guys as well. But um, each pile had something to, to see, to, to um, meditate on. Option one was flowers. Option two was kind of like the um, human brain. It's strange. And then you guys, it's the elk. It's beautiful, you guys. It's so much to it. They're really big creatures. They're big and wow, they're powerful. They look majestic and strong. Okay. So not a deer, but an elk. Okay, not a stag, but an elk. Let's see what else we can get here for you guys. You're telling me go tarot first. It's very earthy. Some of you guys the earth signs or um have earth in your chart. Just be working with that element right now. You need to spend time in nature. If you could spend time with animals, that would be nice. Didn't we start with that? Wasn't that in the collective reading, you guys? I think so. I think that was confirmation. 222. Two, two. Look up those numbers. Holy Spirit, what is... I was about to say, Holy Spirit, what does Archangel need to know? I'm here, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Haniel. You guys might want to look up those Archangels. Holy Spirit, what does option three need to know? Justice scales. This is justice. Justice scales. Balance. You ever wonder how he how heavy are their antlers? Like, are they able to? Obviously, they're able to balance it. But you ever wonder what it's what would it be like? I know this sounds so silly to walk around with these, you know, huge antlers on your head. I mean. What's the meaning of them? Are they just for protection? Anybody, anybody ever wonder about that? Like, what is that? What is the um, 
Why do they have ant <laughs> why do they have antlers? What are antlers for? You guys might actually want to look up the spiritual meaning behind antlers. I've been really connected with that too. Helicopters, really? What is going on outside? Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Artemis, one of her symbols is antlers too. Don't get stuck in a rut. Appreciate life's high points. Be at home in the woods. Make your voice heard. Know when to make tracks. Be magnificent. Advice from an elk. Oh, so there's an elk card from an animal spirit guide that's showing up. Let's look at it. It says, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with respect that you deserve. It's like a really strong... Um, yeah it's like it's masculine it's a it has like an emperor kind of feel to it and now we have the justice scales which i look at it as strength we have mots here hope i pronounced your name right okay let's see what else we can get here so this is a good balance making wise judgment calls this could be the leader of a tribe is what i'm hearing some of you guys maybe you had an ancestor that was a leader of a tribe or even a past life or something like that The one who laid the rules, laid down the law. You're telling me to pay attention to this one. This is um, the Will of Fortune. It's destiny. Um, yeah, this is like all, it's old. This energy is old. It's, it's two different um, time frames connecting. Like think of, oh, the bridge. I was gonna say like, think of like a rainbow connecting to two different ends. But what we have here is a wholehearted bridge. It's the bridge between your ancestors, the old and the, and, and the new, and possibly even you being in the in-between in the future generations to come. So here you are this middle kind of um column holding up this bridge. Think of like San Francisco bridge. What's another popular bridge? I'm blanking. But anyways, there it's like, imagine if there was like a, a pillar um, holding it up so that we can have a strong balance, right? So we have this far end here and we have this other far end and they're both, you can't touch them. Like you can't get to them because one has already happened and ended, right? But you can still learn from it. But everything's forward movement. All the traffic is going forward to this, to this direction, right? And here you are in the middle middle what the fuck this is my, this is my friend you guys here you are in the middle <laughs> so it happens when you start talking so much and you get tongue-tied and uh, anyways let me just swallow my spit too <laughs> in the middle here you are in the middle right and then on the third that opposite energy that other end that you're trying to get to or that you're moving towards that future energy is the future generations to come so three different generations the, those who have come before you and you you are what creates the future the present energy and then you have the future energy so it's like learning from your the, your past ancestors and also creating a sacred space creating new knowledge for the future generations to come they will be ancestors too and so will you so you will be their ancestors this could be culture this could be tradition knowledge wisdom inspiration ways of healing even generational curses. So it's about history, it's bloodline, it's history. They're saying, is there anything you could change now? Is there, what can you do now to further progress the future generations? Now it's totally up to them what they do when they get here, but how can you make it better? How can you cut the cords or um, change, change things so that the future generation won't have to do deal with or do what you did you know do with do what you did or deal with what you had to go through does that make sense i hope that, that makes sense so there's a bridge you're connected the gap is connected here or maybe some of you guys need to connect the gap maybe you guys need to heal something so it's like i'm hearing smooth sailing like a smooth drive going across so maybe there are some bump, bumps in the road on this bridge or you felt disconnected, or maybe some of you don't know about your ancestry. Maybe some of you guys don't know about your ancestors. Maybe you were adopted, or maybe 
um, there was just a bad relationship, bad blood. And they're saying you guys need to forgive and heal and release this. There's some generational healing that needs to be done and, and curses that need to, to be released and cords that need to be cut. So that the future generation that comes, they are not dealing with the same, you know, like nasty residue that you, you know, that you have from your ancestors. It's like, I'm clean. Let me clean the plate. Let me, let me clear the air. Let me move this rock out of my path. Let, let me move this obstacle so that the future generation can smoothly move forward. They're saying there's a gateway to new beginnings. Okay. So let's get some more, um, energy here queen of cups yeah so there's a lot of like emotional healing and nurturing that needs to be done we have a feminine figure here right the mother bear um the tiger is it is very feminine right but i had visions of two masculine energies so we have a good balance of masculine feminine energy here but for a lot of you the queen of cups is is the mother who's emotionally endearing and, and and caring and she understands like how do you feel that's what i'm hearing how do you fear fear whoa what do you fear how do you feel honey maybe they're asking you what do you fear the elephant is symbolic for you guys the elephant the elk yes feminine energy some of you guys are needing to heal I mean, it's all going to stem back to, to ancestors, whether it's a feminine ancestor or masculine ancestor. How do they make you feel? How did they make you feel? How do you feel now, currently? They're saying the enlightenment is going to come from how you feel. So there's a lot of heart chakra healing. Heart chakra and root chakra for you guys. It's like, how do you feel? Do you feel safe and secure? How did they make you feel? Were you scared, nervous as a child? Did you not feel like you had a stable or, 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 or steady upbringing? What is it that you need to release? Remember what we talked about earlier, what I read to you guys. You guys are really needing to tap into your emotions. There's some clearing. There's some healing that needs to happen the moon right the moon talks about illusions in the unknown but this moon is shedding its light on the lotus and on the cup and the cup represents your emotions and your feelings and the lotus represents enlightenment so this is you shedding the light or the light is being shed on your emotions and how you feel so you're receiving this enlightenment about how you feel about your emotions your triggers and you're trying to figure out how to bring balance to your emotions. You guys are all about like becoming more emotionally mature. Emotionally mature, learning how to process your emotions, how to communicate. It's a good, it's a, yeah, it's like heart over mind, mind over heart, using your mind, your, your mind and your heart together. It's, it's weighing, I'm weighing my head over my heart. Yeah, I'm weighing my mind over my heart. How can I use these two together? I don't have to choose. It's all about balance, right? So I I need to, it's like expressing your emotions in a logical way and not just going off the, you know, real like, you know, freaking out on people or cutting up on people. I used to do that. Sometimes I still want to do it, but I know that it's only going to make me even more mad or more frustrated and people aren't going to hear me if I'm yelling at them or cursing them out or or if I'm crying, sometimes people aren't going to hear you because some people don't have the same love language. Some people don't communicate the same way. And for some people, that's a trigger. The way you express yourself could be a trigger to someone else and vice versa. So this is where when it comes to emotions, that's why a lot of people tell you when you feel highly emotional or highly passionate, it's good. It's good to walk away and not say anything for a bit. Process your emotions and think of a strategic way of communicating how you feel. OK, so 1212 is symbolic for you guys as well. You guys want to look up those numbers. Three plus three, six, harmony, right? How can everything become harmonized? So how can you communicate how you feel in a more harmonious way? In a structured way. So you guys, I can't remember what this, what this shape is called. <sighs> oh God, somebody zoned out during preschool, me. I was always in my head. Let's see, <laughs> or kindergarten um shapes <laughs> yo i'm about to google shapes don't laugh at me i know this is bad it's a hexagon that i'm getting here 
You guys, I'm blanking right now. Don't laugh. <laughs> Somebody didn't have cue cards when they were a kid. <laughs> Hold on. We were talking about inner child healing, right? Yo, sick. Okay, what is the shape? <laughs> uh, it's just so bad. It's, it's uh, Come on, come on. Shit, you guys, I need my glasses too. This is a hexagon, but it, no, no, no. Is it a hexagon? It's a hexagon, but it also looks like it's a pentagon inside of it with a triangle. It's kind of strange. I, I think mostly it's a hexagon, but it's, it's just kind of turned a certain way. Yeah, because it has different points. Six points. Yeah, six points. Yeah, because the pentagon has five in. Yeah, so this is a hexagon, but it has a triangle in the middle of it and a upside down triangle too. So <laughs> if you think that this girl needs to go back to school, go and watch option two because I knew what I was talking about then. Okay, so this is just a different energy I'm tapping into. <laughs> All right, so hey, it is what it is, yo. You don't use it, you lose it, right? So <laughs> that's just the energy we're in. So let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, so try not to have emotional outbursts. <laughs> um, you have to learn how to process your emotions in a way that's um, healing and beneficial. Because here's the deal, ultimately you want to get, what you're trying to get across is how you feel, right? So yelling, screaming, cursing, and raising your voice isn't going to get how you feel across. That's why you have to speak in a more, um, you have to, you don't talk at people, you talk to people, right? So this is about you like kind of calming down and, and expressing how you feel or how something made you feel. This is also the way you treat yourself when you're processing your emotions. So you guys need to treat yourselves better. All of you need to treat yourselves better actually. Who does be? Mm. See, this is what I'm talking about. You need to treat yourself better. We have orchids here. You have lilies here. I don't know what the heck that animal is. Oh, those are two monkeys. Okay. Oh, earlier earlier I said, um, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. The three monkeys, right? We have a butterfly here. Oh, you're you're the um you're all three. Oh shooks. So this is like really out like undoing. Oh, you guys have the ten of swords. <laughs> ten of swords, look at those three swords. You have the lilies here, you have the orchids here. This is resilience. You have the two monkeys. I don't know where the third is. But um you have the frog, you have the heart. Remember you talked about the heart over mind, right? You guys are more in your heart right now, even though you have the swords. You have a mixture of sword. Think of when you're working with the tarot, think of swords and cups. You guys are swords and cups right now. So you guys are like mind over heart, heart over mind, and you have the justice scales that actually has the feather and the heart. So this is like your card, Libra, balance, right? Balance of emotions. And I think it's interesting that Libra is ruled, right? So you have Taurus and Libra that are ruled by Venus. And Venus is love, right? And beauty and all of that. But let's talk about love right, right now. We're going to talk about emotion, how you love yourself. And this, this has to do with the way you love yourself. And it all stems back to your childhood, right? Your ancestors and the way they love themselves and who loved them and all of that, right? Because it... So ends up being repeated and repeated until somebody decides, hey, that happened to me, so I don't want the same thing to happen to my kids. That type of vibe, right? So you guys are the game changers. You're going to be doing a lot of ancestral healing and work and loving yourself because you have to realize that even though you come from your ancestors, you can do something totally different. Like, you don't have to be exactly like your ancestors. So you're pulling the sword out of you. There's this old painting where this woman has a sword in her. I mean, it's old. I don't know why. If you guys know what I'm talking about, there's a painting where this woman has a sword in her. Um, and yeah, look that up, okay? Could be symbolic. You guys want to work with um, aquamarine blue, blue aura quartz? I don't even, I think that's heat treated, right? But anyways, aura quartz, blue, aquamarine bring in white flowers purple white flowers it's the crown chakra you're healing your heart 
disruption that's what this card says it's a disruption and this frog it's making me think of like hopping from one place into another and the, and the frog goes through a transformation itself right think about that a lot of people talk about butterflies but let's talk about the frog frog is a weird little creature right because it's like it's a tadpole and it create and it becomes this frog and it's like water and then it's earth and water and it reptiles are weird um <laughs> But this monkey, these three monkeys here, it's like um, maybe you were kind of, you felt closed in, boxed in, or um, maybe your you your family or your parents told you, don't speak when adults are speaking or speak when spoken to. That's some old school s stuff, okay? Um, you know, I had ancestors that were like that, but my mom was like, mm. <laughs> she can say whatever she wants. Um, and it's kind of like, like my, my mom, she dealt with a lot of backlash from family members because my mom let me be, let me be outspoken and for those who want to know my mother is black and creole so from the south you don't speak unless you're spoken to and you don't give attitude if you get attitude you're gonna get popped <laughs> you know it's like that like so and it's not healthy i honestly think it stems from slavery i think that a lot of um of course there's a, a certain amount of respect you should have it for elders and ancestors i think that's been all the way back but i think a lot of our te the teachings that ha have you know been passed on have been from slavery it's a lot of oppression you don't speak unless someone asks you something you do what you're said you, you know it's a lot of like closed in thinking and um I, it kind of really it and oh how how about this you just deal with things right you just deal with things it, it creates a certain way of um living by the time you become an adult some people have a hard time speaking up for themselves some people sh like completely rebel right um they become rebellious like mm, i'm just gonna say whatever you know and then you have people who they become more timid and they don't speak up for themselves and it's a lot of outgrowing and a lot of out learning there's a better way. Or how about the whoopings and spankings, right? Some of us receive whoopings and spankings. And some of our parents receive it even worse. And you know their parents received it worse. Or the verbal abuse or the mental e abuse or emotional abuse. Or how about your parent telling you that, hey, at least you didn't have it as bad as I had it. That doesn't make it right, right? So, right, right. Um, but yeah, this is outgrowing and, and outdoing these things that have happened to you saying you know what I, there's a better way i could i can communicate with my children there's a better way that we can establish respect with each other there's a better way to discipline you know my children to get them to understand what's right and what's wrong i don't have to instill a fear you know a fear um fear tactics onto my children because a lot of times your parents end up becoming your first bully right so or your grandparents who've ever raised you so this is a lot of out doing like a lot of a lot of rewriting like okay this didn't work we're throwing it in the trash and i need to forgive because i can't hold this resentment forever right so that's what's happening for you guys let's see what's at the bottom nine of cuts thank you finally got something something delish right so oh delish i said delish you have strawberries so maybe you guys need to cook you guys need to eat healthier. There's something, yeah, something with food. Oh, I said aquamarine blue quartz, right? This blue aura quartz. You guys really want to work with that. You guys want to work with the water element. Yeah, hibiscus flowers are symbolic here. We have a peacock here. And that's a mask. That's a male peacock. So we have a lot of masculine energy coming through along with feminine energy. Nine of cuts. Yo, this is beautiful. You have a rainbow. You have a, a fish here. Fertility. This is, um being seen a lot of you I'm, a, I'm gonna be real here i'm hearing them say a lot of you until you really tap into this energy of healing and it first comes with self-awareness right forgiveness self-awareness forgiveness right and healing and healing is healing isn't a one-time thing it just kind of happens it continues to flow right we get better and better but what's happening here is when you can really tap into this energy this is when a certain counterpart is going to come in it's like you're going to um the nine of cups is a single kind of energy like this is this i'm happy and my lonesome like I've be, i'm independent you know i've created this this happiness this success for myself this emotional stability for myself and because of it i am ready for the ten of cups so it's the prelude it's that the beginner phase it's right before you get to the ten of cups right because i created this emotional fulfilling 
you know, um, life for myself, I am now ready to attract even more. So you're in the attraction stage. After you come out of this and you're in your happiness and you're in this healing energy and this forgiveness, you're aware, no more resentment. When you're out of that, when you're out of that resentment and you're in this state of peace and contentment and forgiveness and healing and this independence that, you know, being, I'm hearing firm in your beliefs, this is when it's like your peacock feathers do this. They just open up, right? I don't know if you guys have ever seen a peacock in real life and it just does this. It's so beautiful. It's like, whoa. Like, why did the male peacocks get all of that? The female peacocks, I mean, no offense, but they're a little sorry looking. No offense to them, but they just look a little basic. And <laughs> the males, they're like over here like, hey girl, psh, you see me over here? <laughs> over here doing my thing. So... Yeah, it's like shining that light, right? So we have a lot of like light shine. Like, look at me over here, rainbow. Like, rainbow energy, you know, tropical, giving off these different colors. We have the strawberry, these strawberries here. So it's, it's like attention. It, it, you know, you give off this aura, this glow to you, your essence, your um, pheromones. There's something that's going to, it's energetic. It's really an energetic shift within you. You become more receptive to love and healing. This is you maturing emotionally. And when you do that, a lot of other things mature. So your heart chakra is healing. You're balancing mind and heart, you know, decisions. And this balance is going to change your energy, your aura, this healing, healing and balance. Think of that. Think of temperance and justice, the justice card. So in this ace of cups, your cup runneth over enlightenment, the lotus it's beautiful. You're you're blooming like this lotus. And when the lotus blooms out of this dark, muddy, you know, territory, you know, it came from darkness. It came from things that just like, eh. and then all of a sudden it has this beautiful energy. It's just like, ah, it grows, but it takes time to bloom and blossom, right? So this is you finally blooming in your happiness, right? You're, oh, I'm over here shining. And then all of a sudden, different things start showing up and popping up and you're like wow like i didn't realize here i am I, this whole time i've been wondering when was this going to happen for me when was this going to occur i didn't realize that i still had some of these blockages some of these stagnant energies and all stemmed back from where my bloodline bingo nine of cups that's you getting your wish fulfillment right kind of like the nine of pentacles that's what they're telling me right here. The, the Nine of Pentacles is really independent, doing my own thing, working on my own thing, right? But the Nine of Cups is like, ah, I got what I wish for. I got, I got what I wanted, and I'm, I'm just, I'm content. I'm content. This contentment, this peace is going to bring in a, something bigger. It's right before the Ten of Cups. Look, she's like got all this water. This is refreshing. Water is purifying. So you guys are purifying your energy. It's a cleanse. Like sweep. You're like um swiping a file and, and creating a whole new file. It's like you're swiping um slate clean and it's a whole new whole new territory. You can. It's fertile because water, water and earth. You're. It's beautiful. This is very fertile. It's new new beginnings are available for you once you end this out for good. And not just say, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I forget them. But then the next minute you're like, oh, I remember when they, I should have said this to them. It's not that, you know, it's I actually forgive. I release, I let go. There's, it's peace here. I'm shocked we don't have a white dove. Oh, we do. Because I, yeah, there you go. Holy Spirit, that white dove, it, it's coming through. So you, maybe even you were thinking, well, where is my karma? Where's my good karma? Where's, where's my justice for what was done? And the divine is saying, well, your justice for what was done is you outgrowing this and overcoming this and, and creating a whole new life for yourself and not passing the same stuff down to your children or to your family or friends or to your partners, right? So it's fresh, your 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 water. And what does water do? It comes in and it can sweep just sweep stuff out, right? And, and, and that's what's so powerful about water because it can be nurturing and and, and, and um purifying and help things it can help things to grow, but it can also be destructive and and drown and sweep things out. And for you it's doing both. So this water, these floodgates are opening and what it's doing is it's clearing. It's like um I'm not manifesting anything or speaking into existence and took tied into existence or anything. You guys need to work with your throat chakra too. Speaking your truth. That's blue. 
yeah so uh, you, you need to speak your truth in a better way remember i said speak your emotes you know talk about your emotions in a calm manner aquamarine okay so i don't know why are they show me the aquamarine movie but yeah it, it's they're showing me pearls aquamarine or quartz. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. So that's all that water energy. Some of you guys be water signs. Can't just Scorpio Pisces, or you just be in that energy right now. You need to be. This is going to help you to clear out. It's detox, right? When people drink a lot of water, when they cry, get the. You know how someone says, "It's okay, honey. Get your emotions out. You can cry." It's that. Like, let me detox. Your angels are saying detox. You need to cry. Cry. You need to scream. Scream. Just don't. Don't channel that energy onto someone. Channel it in a healthy way. Just get it out. Because that's what's disrupting your happiness. I mean, you, you went from the Ten of Swords to the Nine of Cups. This is the one block, and it has to do with your past. You can get through this. If you can take your time in this energy and heal, you're going to reach this. And then on the up other end, they're saying on the other side, Beyonce, that song. On the other side. Go look at the music video. Is there water in the music video? Is that when she's walking by the water? that on the other side right there's this this rainbow what's on the other side of the rainbow the pot of gold the bridge it all stems back to this the bridge right the waterfall what's on the opposite side of the waterfall love healing forgiveness contentment peace healing work right so it's quite beautiful things are taking off there's momentum um building it's chariot energy. The hibiscus. Didn't I say hibiscus flower? We don't have it here, but I keep getting that. And we even have, um, is that Shiva we have on here? We have Shiva here. We have a pearl. Look at that, Cancer. Wow, you guys are doing a lot of like um marine, yeah, something with the marine life, water. You guys might be really caught to like animals that are in water, like dolphins, fish, whales, um, sea creatures as well. So we had all that earth energy with the, with the elk and the bear. And now we have water. Remember, water helps. When water is put on an earth, it helps for something to grow. It's nurturing. So you need to water yourself. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys could be pescatarians. I randomly heard that. We might be called to do something like that. Oh my God, we have the hermit. See, water and earth. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the hermit went within, right? This is a review of self. And look, we have a parrot in the cage. And as we all know, parrots are known to repeat. Talking, gossip, you know? It doesn't have to be negative. But when I look at parrots, so I think of like, wow, something that can repeat. So repeated cycles. Remember the cycles and how you speak, communicate, throat chakra. So now we have this knowledge, this wisdom. Oh, look, we have a three-headed that little dog. I forgot what that's called. It's, it's also in Harry Potter. It's, I think it's a Greek mythology. I forgot what that's called. But anyways, it's a lot of healing. And look, we have sage here burning. The sage, the wisdom, right? The clearing. So the hermit is something, when I look at the hermit, I think of someone who's aged, who's been, who's been aged with wisdom. Over time, they've gained a lot of wisdom. And it can even be in a short amount of time, you go within and you're like, wow, I gained all that wisdom when I took some time out to really, I'm hearing, um, when I took time to, uh, what is it called? P, I'm, what's the P word? Process. When I took time to process everything that has occurred over my lifespan. So taking time to really dig deep. Res oh, look at what's underneath that. We have, look at that. Look at that different deck, different freaking deck. Well, it's the same tarot deck, but you get what I'm saying earlier. Nails, pick it up, pick up the card. See? So, now this one might actually be a, a stag, but you get what I'm saying. There's something with antlers here. <laughs> Anyways, we have a chicken. Oh, look, we have a boat. So you have like this light energy and you have water. Like two different energies coming together. The nine of wands is resilience. Bigger. So it's like energy. This is this is you. We have two nines now. You guys want to look up nines. This is you becoming strong, resilient after you went in for awareness. This is success. This is this is resi this is resilience. I'm still standing. This is what's made you stronger over the years. A wise one, the sage. Right? The sage. It's giving you those those antlers 
it, it's giving me wisdom. It's representing wisdom for me right now. For you guys is reading, this is enlightenment and wisdom, meaning I went in self-awareness. I took time to process how I felt and what has occurred and what has helped me and what has not helped me and how these different reactions have helped me and what has not helped me, my love language, everything about me, I went in. I dig deep into myself, a study of self so that I can understand where I was wrong so that I can fix things. For me, this is wisdom. I took that time to study myself and because I took time to study self, I can now move forward in a healthy way. This has made me strong. You guys are connecting the bridge. The bridge is becoming stronger. The whole hearted bridge, the heart is becoming stronger. The mind is becoming strong because now it's working together. These pillars are holding up this foundation strongly. Let's move on. Deck. <laughs> what is option three needs what do we talk about survivor protector healing the past right oh look at this we got all these animals now we have a lion and a lamb mask and feminine energy is something that's quite useful and innocent the other one's strong and warrior like and then you have a unicorn here which is more uh, like mythical the magical being right different elements coming together spiritual warrior 37 show you Show you are a wise leader. That's kind of weird how they put that. Show you are a wise leader. Command the universe. So speak things into reality. Command the universe by healing, by setting the tone. You know what? This is how I'm going to live my life. This is how I'm going to teach my children. This is how I'm going to, you know, pr progress my generation, my, my um, lineage. This is peace. You guys might want to look up the, the, the lion and the lamb in the Bible. The lion and the lamb. It's connecting with like the Holy Spirit show you are a wise leader so this is you being the game changer in your family and your ancestry and doing things differently because you are the leader you are the game changer you are the chosen one in your lineage to do things differently so command the universe show you are a wise leader isn't that beautiful what's at the bottom enlightenment the lotus look from the highest perspective the hermit See the divine in everyone, forgiveness of the past, the, your family, right? Your friends, the past, energy, even yourself. 43. Look at the rainbow. It's all coming full circle, right? Let's see what else. Sacred divinity, and we have a bird here. We, well, we have two birds here and a woman dancing. Actually, dancing might be help, help, helpful for you guys, like dancing to channel, dancing to heal, dancing to shake off stagnant energy, and also to connect with past and loved ones because a lot of times our ancestors did a lot of dancing. Dancing is spiritual, okay? So 33, harmony, mind, body, and soul. There are two paths ahead. Sacred divinity. It says there are two paths ahead. Going back. Reverse. So either you can <laughs> go in reverse and you can go forward. That bridge. Do you want to go backward? Backwards? Or do you want to go forwards? Which way are you leaning? How are those scales? Are they are they a little bit unbalanced? Where, where are you going here? Are you balanced? Are you more forward thinking? Are you going backwards? What's going on? Are you neutral? Are you a neutral? You have two paths to hit. That's what they're saying. Sacred divinity. Which path will you take? Will you reverse or are you going to go forward? It's up to you. If you want to heal this or if you want to let this, you know, you're going to end up creating the same type of pattern. What do you want to do? You want to change it? If you want to change it, you're going to move forward, right? You're going to process it. Living light energy. See the beauty in life. So they want you to see the connection between all things. Look at that. This is giving me... um avatar when he when she was teaching him jake Sully, she was teaching him about the tree and how everything's connected and even the animals how she felt bad that she had to kill that animal because he was in the animal's territory it's the connection of it all you remember how she, her, her connection with her family with her parents 25 7 it's a spiritual the connection between all things you guys might feel called to connect oh we have two trees here to connect with trees Dance out in nature, sit by trees. Shamanism is you picking up um, the earth's energy. 
the earth giving giving you energy they said look at this what is this doesn't this look like antlers a little bit but it's connected to these eyes so these are like little um signals coming from a divine being and it says channel your knowledge critical judgment this is you being critical on yourselves and others so you guys need to watch that because we're all learning here give yourself time give yourself patience write it down eight maybe you guys might feel called to write stuff down in order to heal you know like a journal one of these flew out emerald healing the heart chakra boom you guys want to work with emerald it says cosmic ordering divine alchemy command the universe remember conscious manifesting command the universe the hands power in the hands the alchemist the healer yeah green trees oh wow that aquamarine we have that mixture of blue and green here the throat chakra and the heart connecting how you speak remember speaking from the heart how do you express your emotion how do you feel how do you how do you communicate your emotions to others the emerald okay holy spirit give me one more one more from them Ooh, that's it divine animals the lion look at that came right back out this was your collective card the collective card energy 22 master number the heart look there's a heart there strong heart brave heart warrior heart what movie was that read of this i can't remember but yeah that strong heart brave heart okay so let me get one more for them yeah man you guys have some manifestation powers that you guys are going to be tapping into that was the only blockage that's what they're letting you know that you guys have all this like alchemy healing energy and you guys could command the universe and in asking you shall receive kind of energy you have that but the only thing that's blocking it is like that past that resentment the anger the unforgiveness the sadness from your childhood one more card give me one more i want one more something different bingo what is this focus on love Focus on love. Meditate more. Pray. 37. Focus on love. Infinite love. The love. Love between all. That's the family tree. We have the trees, right? There was trees. Oh, these fell out. Oh, create space. So clear the energy. Clear the air. We have remembrance. Remember the past, right? To heal it, right? Yes, some type of portal to the past, actually, to heal it. And then we have the heart and we have like this aura this blue aura and this yellow and we have the sword right through the heart soul mating so oh remember i said the nine of cups i'm just saying the peacock something's coming once you get into this okay so oh let me get one more wait no wait this. y'all y'all got me here for hours let's see it i got to go give me one more holy spirit for option three that's you Sacred mountain. You guys really collect, uh, collect, connect with the collective energy because that was all the collective energy. That's an upper mountain. Remember, I had a vision of like some type of animal with with bags on them or something. And go back and watch that vision quest. Clarity and truth. Shambhala. Deep healing. Mic drop. No. There you go. See, the earth, the trees, the light. It's like all this enlightenment. It's rainbow energy. What is this? Breathe the sun presence, pineal activation, relax and let go. So you guys want to spend time under the sun healing. We have a lot of yellow here as well. Letting the heart touch touch your chest. Did I say what the heck did I just say? Did I say letting your heart touch your chest? Letting the light touch your chest? I don't know if I said that right. Look, fire transformation. We have the phoenix. We have a lot of birds here. Radical purification, violet flame, surrendering resurrection. Yep. Rebirth. This is you being born again, healing your inner child, doing things in a new way. Sacred heart. You know that the heart with the fire? That could be symbolic for you guys. You might want to look that up. Whoa there. Okay, you guys. This has been beautiful. It really has. But I got to go. So um, I'm sending you guys love. I hope this was able to help. I hope it resonated. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And let's pray that this video uploads well.